Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting edition of Manga Geekdom. Today we're going to go over all the cool releases for the month of October. Specifically, what I think are the most anticipated manga that you will want to check out. This month is jam-packed with stuff. We got a whole bunch of new number ones. We got deluxe editions and omnibus editions, so on and so forth. And like I always do every month, I'd like to remind you that if you're new here, this is just for new series that are coming out and not necessarily me recommending volume 20 of a long-running series. It's meant for the new collectors out there or for the old ones that are wanting to get into something brand new. We got a long list, so let's get started. We began with a bunch of Viz Media releases. The first one here is something that I am personally super excited about. Otaku Vampires Love Bite Volume 1. This comedy fantasy romance shoujo series first started publication back in 2022. It's still ongoing and we are finally getting it thanks to Viz Media and the Shoujo Beat label. This is a manga written by Julieta Suzuki. Hina Arukado is a modern vampire who drinks blood from bags instead of humans. But she's also a complete shut-in who hasn't left the house in 30 years. In an effort to reach her, Hina's worried dad does something that changes her life. He gives her the complete box set of the Vampire Cross anime series. Hina is instantly obsessed with everything about the show, especially the character Mao. But it's hard to fan as hard as she wants from her bedroom in Romania. So now Hina is out of the house and off to Japan to live her otaku dream. Spider-Man Octogirl Volume 1 is another Viz Media release. This first started publication back in 2023 and it is still ongoing. It's an action sci-fi superhero inspired series, a shonen manga if you will, by Hideyuki Furuhashi with art by Betancourt. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Spider-Man rogue Dr. Octopus faces his biggest challenge yet, living life as a middle school girl in Japan. After a battle with Spider-Man, the evil genius scientist Otto Octavius falls into a coma, but when he wakes up, his consciousness is in the body of Otoha Okutamiya, a middle school girl in Tokyo. Thus begins the strange school life of Spider-Man's biggest rival as a normal Japanese girl. From Viz Media, Koyoharo Gotoge's Before Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba. These were four chapters collected in one book. They were published from 2013 to 2015, and it is of course written by Koyoharo Gotoge, best known for their work on the sensational Demon Slayer manga. This action-packed collection of standalone stories from the creator's early days showcases sinister visions of the supernatural and includes a direct inspiration for Kimetsu no Yaiba that stars main supporting characters Tamayo and Muzan in a story of deadly vampire hunting. Also from Viz, we got Destroy All Humans, They Can't Be Regenerated, a Magic the Gathering manga, Volume 1. This series started publication back in 2018 and it is still ongoing. This strategy card game school shonen series is written by Katsura Ise with art by Takuma Yokota. Travel back in time to the early days of Magic the Gathering. It's the 90s at Tokiwaga Middle School. And for gamers like Hajime Kano, the release of Magic the Gathering means nothing nothing will ever be the same again. In anything he does, it seems like geeky Tokigawa middle school student Hajime Kano always comes in second place behind popular honor student Emi Sawatari. But when Hajime takes a trip to a new game store he's been hearing about, the rivalry takes an unexpected turn. Welcome to the early years of Magic the Gathering, when a trading card game shaped a generation forever. Also, as a quick side note, I do want to mention, for those of you that are not aware, this manga includes an exclusive card while supplies last. Moving to the other publishers, we go to Dark Horse Comics with the much anticipated release of Trigon Maximum Deluxe Edition Volume 1, hardcover edition of course. This is the action adventure sci-fi sequel to the popular Trigon series, and in case you're wondering, Trigon Maximum was originally published back in 1997 and it lasted for 10 years up to 2007. 102 chapters which were collected across 14 volumes, now 3-in-1 edition thanks to these deluxe hardcovers by Dark Horse. 
Story and art by Yasuhiro Naito. Vash the Stampede, the galaxy's deadliest gunslinger, emerges from two years in hiding to help his desert homeworld Gunsmoke. But the Stampede's many enemies have kept their motors running, and they're back on his trail and determined to bring Vash to ground hard. And a new crowd of bounty hunters, badasses, and brain cases are also looking to cash in the 60 billion double dollar price tag on his head. From Seven Seas Entertainment, we have My Dear Detective Mitsuko's Case Files Volume 1. This was first published back in 2021, it's still ongoing. It's a mystery detective seinen series from Natsumi Ito. Hoshino Mitsuko is a determined and hardworking woman living in the 1930s, where career women are a rarity and looked down upon. Despite rampant sexism and pressure to stay home, she's determined to prove herself as a successful detective no matter what. One day, she is approached by the handsome waiter Yoshida Saku, who presents Mitsuko with her very first solo case. Together, the two work closely to solve the mystery, and Mitsuko finds Saku quite capable, but very curious, and takes him on as her new assistant. Can this duo tackle cases and the turbulent atmosphere of the Showa era? From Alien Books comes Kinryo Rock Volume Zero. This is a fantasy vampiric series that first started publication back in 2015 to 2016. Four chapters across one singular volume. Story by Bingo Morihashi and art by Manabu Akishige. Blood, sex, and rock and roll. In this world, vampires live among humans, but coexistence is not easy. The moment they don't follow the rules, they are special agents agents prepare to take them down, some with the strength of the law and others with the power of rock. This prequel volume, Moon Age Daydream, sets the stage with three short stories about main characters that will collide in the main series, volumes 1, 2, and 3. From Seven Seas Entertainment, we have a comedy fantasy romance shonen series, The Barbarian's Bride, story and art by Noriaki Kotoba, Serafina de Lavilant, hope I pronounced that correctly, the strongest female knight in the west was sent to subjugate the barbaric tribes of the east, but when her mission fails spectacularly, she's captured alive and imprisoned. Humiliated and dreading what horrific torture she'll endure, she asks to be put to death. But to her surprise, rather than tearing her limb from limb, the tribe leader asks for her hand in marriage. Will Serafina face a cruel and abusive arranged marriage, or will she discover that these tribes aren't as barbaric as she was led? to believe. We have the much anticipated release of Red River. However, these are the new 3-in-1 editions. So here we have Volume 1. Red River was published from 1995 to 2002, ran across 96 chapters in 28 volumes. Now back in print thanks to the folks at Viz Media with Shoujo Beat. This is story and art by Chie Shinohara, and it tells the story of Yuri, a modern teenager who is transported to ancient Anatolia as part of a scheme by the evil Nakia. Queen of the Hittites. Only the intervention of Nakia's stepson, Prince Kale, saves Yudi from the Queen's bloodthirsty intentions. As an unintended consequence, the people of the kingdoms of Anatolia embrace Yudi as the incarnation of the great war goddess Ishtar. From Dark Horse Comics, we have the adaptation of H.P. Lovecraft's The Call of Cthulhu by none other than Go Tanabe. This was published back in 2019 and it ran across seven chapters collected in one singular volume. This mystery supernatural seinen adaptation links together two bands of worshippers, one deep in the Arctic snows and one hidden in the bayou of Louisiana, is more than their shared practice of blood sacrifice. Now these nightmares will disturb the sanity of Francis Thurston, a young man pursuing an investigation into the cult of Cthulhu that leads to the most forsaken spot in the vast Pacific. From Yen Press, we have the comedy series Is the Order a Rabbit? Volume 1. This was first published in 2011 and it is still ongoing. Written and drawn by Koi, lured in by the promise of cute bunnies, Kokoa stops by Rabbit House Cafe for a drink, only to find out it's the very place she'll be living. Inside, she meets small but aloof Chino, militaristic Rize, calm, traditional Chiyo, and Shado, a normal girl who overflows with elegance. Watch the girl's friendship deepen as the cafe bursts with cuteness and laughter from all directions. 
from Kodansha, we have the release of Versus. This is a story by one with art by Kyotaru Azuma, first published in 2022 and it is still ongoing. This action comedy fantasy shonen series tells the story of demons who invaded the world and defeated humanity centuries ago. The great demon lord and his generals have since dominated the world, while the human race lives on in fear. In desperation, a group of 47 people gathered from around the world to undertake a last ditch effort to save humanity from ultimate annihilation. These heroes swear to defeat the demon army and win back humanity's freedom, but they have no idea the desperate measures that this battle will drive them to embrace. Also from Kodansha, we have Blue Lock Episode Nagi Volume 1. This is written by Kota Sanomiya and it is a prequel to the popular sports series Blue Lock. Second year high school student Reo Mikage wants nothing more than to escape his illustrious family's shadow by becoming a soccer star and winning the World Cup. The only thing that's missing is a talented diamond in the rough who can help him achieve his dream. That's when he sets his sights on Seishiro Nagi, a notorious slime whose quick reflexes are the only hint of athletic ability. Can Reo find the switch to awaken the beast inside Nagi? From Seven Seas Entertainment comes A Suitable Fetish. This is a romance shoujo series that started publication back in 2020. Story and art by Shin Kawamaru. Sakura Mori Miu is, by all appearances, a prim and proper young lady with a respectable job in planning and development. There's no way she could be anything but vanilla and innocent. But when she's off the clock and behind closed doors, Miu's got a taste for more sensual pleasures and fetishes. To her surprise, her her sales manager, Takeda Shiro, is also hiding his own secret fantasies behind his button-up reputation. When the two match their desires, they'll make for one steamy office romance. From Kodansha comes the much-anticipated omnibus release of Your Lie in April. This series was first published back in 2011 up until 2015. 44 chapters collected across 11 volumes, but now re-released thanks to Kodansha in omnibus format. This is a very famous drama, romance, musical series, and this volume 1 collects the first three individual volumes in a larger-sized omnibus format with story and art by Naoshi Arakawa. Kosei Ariba was a piano prodigy until his cruel taskmaster of a mother died suddenly, changing his life forever. Driven by his pain to abandon piano, Kosei now lives in a monotonous, colorless world. Having resigned himself to a bland life, he is surprised when he meets Kaori Miyazono, a violinist with an unorthodox style. Can she bring Kosei back to music and back to life? From Seven Seas comes Nakamura-san, The Uninvited Gyaru, Volume 1. This comedy series first started back in 2021 and it is still ongoing. Story and art by Sachiko Orihara. Akiyama and Nakamura-san are polar opposites. As an easily flustered otaku, Akiyama can't even imagine a world where an outgoing flashy gal like Nakamura wants anything to do with him. But after she saves his life, she demands something unbelievable, to live with him. Proud, bold, Old and unafraid to show off her body, Nakamura is the perfect image of a gyaru, except the moment she's apart from Akiyama, she becomes a flustered, blushing mess. Discover what sweetness lies beneath the surface in this odd couple rom-com. From Yen Press comes The Guy She Was Interested Wasn't a Guy at All, Volume 1. The series is an ongoing music-themed GL, and it was first published back in 2023. Story and art by Sumiko Arai. Fashionable and upbeat high schooler Aya falls head over heels for an employee at a local CD shop. He's got an air of mystery about him, always dressed well, and has impeccable taste in music. Little does she know, this supposedly male employee is actually her female classmate mate Mitsuki. Mitsuki generally keeps to herself, but since her seat is right next to Aya's, she can't help but be extremely aware of the other's crush. Revealing the truth is out of the question, but perhaps getting closer to Aya wouldn't be so bad. From Kodansha, comes The Spellbook Library Volume 1, story and art by Uta Isaki. Now what's cool about this series, it is part of Kodansha's exclusive digital platform, the Kodansha Reader Portal series. 
Spellbook Library began in 2023, and it is being published first in English, and later we'll see a Japanese physical release. When he was a child, troublemaker Jan was attacked by a ferocious spell beast, until he was rescued by a group of spellbook librarians. Inspired by the librarian's heroic efforts, Jan vows to turn over a new leaf and become a spellbook librarian to repay their kindness. On the day of his employment exam, he meets Toru, a mysterious young boy who has his own reasons for wanting to work at the library. Together, Jan and Toru set off and join the ranks of the Spellbook Library and begin the journey to learn just what it takes to become a Spellbook Librarian. From Seven Seas Entertainment, The Lady Knight and the Beast-Eared Child, Volume 1. This still ongoing series was first published back in 2022, story and art by Tabo Engine. A fantasy slice-of-life seinen series, it tells the story of Olivia, a lone monster subjugator who refused to take on an apprentice until she rescued a young beastkin named Noah. Now they look out for one another in an often brutal world. Despite the dangers they face, the two at times find beauty in their shared journey. As Olivia teaches Noah the art of battle, he teaches her how to enjoy life's quieter moments. But can a boy with such a tender heart live up to his apprenticeship when faced with terrifying foes? Also from Seven Seas, we have the release of Tiger and Dragon, Volume 1. This romance shoujo series started publication back in 2022 up until 2023. 26 chapters collected across four volumes, so not a huge commitment on your shelf. Story and art by Mizuki Hoshino. When Konomi was five years old, her best friend and neighbor, Kagetora, moved away. After 10 years with no communication, Konomi decides it's time to finally move on from her childhood crush. Luckily, with her other childhood friend, Tatsuomi, waiting in the wings, it looks like romance is right around the corner. That is, until Kagetora suddenly reappears, and Konomi's love life is thrown into chaos. And we finally have the arrival of a new manga publisher. Abrams Comic Arts is putting out through their Kana publishing label, Leviathan, Volume 1 by Shiro Kuroi. This sci-fi suspense survival story tells of the Leviathan, an enormous spaceship that drifts in space abandoned in a galaxy far, far away. When looters break into the abandoned ship, they discover the diary of a middle schooler, Kazuma, who documented the horrific fate of its passengers. Shocked, the looters read on, but as they do, they reach a chilling realization. There is still one survivor somewhere inside. And finally, from Kodansha, Ajin Demi-Human, Complete Omnibus Edition, Volume 1. This series ran from 2012 to 2021, 84 chapters collected across 17 volumes, and is now being re-released by Kodansha as an Omnibus 3-in-1 edition. The action horror mystery series is written by Gamon Sakurai. For K and at least 46 others, immortality comes as the nastiest surprise ever. He's a rare specimen who needs needs to be experimented on for life, a demi-human who must die a thousand deaths for the benefit of humanity. So there it is, folks, the most anticipated releases, in my honest opinion, for the month of October. There are a ton more that I couldn't get to. A lot of volume fours and fives and tens of very popular series. But again, I wanted to focus on the brand spanking new manga that's coming out. And of course, the upgraded or deluxe editions of fan favorite series. Let me know in the comment section what you thought of the list, and of course, let me know what are your personal most anticipated books coming out in the month of October. Alrighty, that's gonna be it for now. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, and being a part of Manga Geekdom. I truly do appreciate it. Stay safe, everybody. God bless. I will catch all of you on the next one.